Do you want to simplify your Facebook ads process? Well, if you do, then this is the perfect video for you because I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to use ChatGPT to help create your Facebook ad campaigns. So we'll be using ChatGPT to create our video ad script, our copy, our headline, and even our targeting strategies. But before we get into it, if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur and you want to save 10 plus hours every week and generate leads and sales in your sleep with AI powered marketing, click the link in the description and schedule your free AI impact blueprint session with me. But let's dive right into the video. So in this video, we're going to be going back and forth between ChatGPT and the Facebook ads manager. But of course, the first thing you guys want to do is make sure that you have a Facebook ad campaign and you can get that set up by first creating your Facebook business manager account, then creating a Facebook ad account. And this is going to be the dashboard. So what we want to do next is click the green create button on that left hand side. And you guys are probably going to be doing a sales campaign or a leads campaign. But for this example, I'm going to be doing a sales campaign because we're doing a hair growth oil. Now that we are inside the campaign, this is what it looks like. And the campaign is broken down into three layers. So the first one is the campaign level, which is that folder icon right there. The next one is the ad set level, which is those four squares that you see to the left right there. And the ad level is represented by that one square. So that's how you always know which layer you're in. So first let's name our campaign, right? We always want to name our campaign name. So we're going to call this L1. And that just signifies that this is a prospecting campaign and not retargeting. L2 would mean retargeting. Then we're selling a hair growth oil. So we're going to put hair growth oil. And then we're going to put sales because that is the name of the campaign that we're using. And that's all we're going to have to do for the campaign level. So now we can click the ad set level on the left or we can click the bottom right and select next. And of course, we, now we're in the ad set level. We want to name it, but we don't know what to name it yet because we're going to name it the audience. So let's leave that blank for now. Going down to conversion location, you're probably going to select website or you can do website and shop, but I typically just do website. Um, but you guys can play around testing that one as well. For performance goal, we want to maximize the number of conversions. Data set, make sure you guys put in your pixel. This is just a demo account for me, so I don't have everything set up. Conversion event, select your conversion event. For this example, we are selecting purchase. Continue to go down until we get to budget. So for this testing strategy, we're going to be doing $20 per ad set. And we're going to have three different ad sets running for three days for the initial test. So that's going to be 60 bucks per day for the first three days. After you see those results, if they're doing well, then you want to start to increase that budget by 10 to 20%. And if they're not doing well, then those are the campaigns or the ad sets that you're going to want to kill. Scrolling down to targeting now, first you want to select your location. I'm in the US, so that's what I selected. Then under advantage plus audience, we want to switch to original audience, then use original audience. And then now we can put in the type of targeting that we want. So I would recommend you leave yours at all genders, unless you have something that's clearly for men or clearly for women, like I do, ours is for women. And let's go to ChatGPT to get our targeting. So we're in ChatGPT. And just because we're using ChatGPT doesn't mean that we're not going to use our own frameworks and strategies, right? So we're still using our three layer targeting strategy that has been working for us for years now and for all of our clients. And that strategy is layer one, something that is directly related to your product or your service. Layer two, something that is closely related to your product or your service. And layer three, something that your ideal prospects are also interested in. This doesn't have to be related to your product or your service. So with that being said, let's now read our prompt. So it's act as a Facebook ads expert and give me three targeting suggestions for an all natural hair growth oil. For a targeting woman aged 25 to 40 who wants to grow longer hair and feel more confident. Give us three ideas using our three layer targeting strategy. Each targeting suggestion should align with each layer. Layer one, things that are directly related to the product or the service. Layer two, things that are closely related to the product or the service. And layer three, things that are unrelated that our ideal prospects would like. Could be anything. And as you can see, it spit out all of the information we want in our framework. So for layer one, it has the interest for layer one. Layer two, it has those interests. And layer three, it has those interests as well. So we are doing three different ad sets for the Facebook ads campaign. So we're going to be doing one ad set for each layer. Now let's go back to Facebook and set up the targeting for the first layer. So we got an interest from ChatGPT. So we're going to go with hair care and make sure the interest that you do get and you do use, make sure it has a large audience so you don't you know run through it very quickly now we want to go back to the top and rename the ad set the name of the audience which is hair care and now we're moving on to the ad level and what we're going to do is name this ad 
And remember, we're going to be testing the audience. So each video ad is going to be the exact same. So let's just call it something like video one, just so we know what it is when we see it. And the reason why every ad is going to be the same is because we're testing the audience. And when we're testing something, it's important that we keep all variables the same. So if we're testing the audience, that means the copy and the video ads have to be the exact same. So we know the differences is actually due to the audiences. Now scrolling down, we're going to want to connect our Instagram accounts. This is just a demo account for me, remember, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. Then we want to select manual upload and then we want to select single image or video and then destination. Make sure you put in your website URL there and for ad creative. You want to set up and then go to video ad. I recommend you do a video ad. This is if you want to include any site links or anything like that. And now we can hit next in the bottom right or we can go to the left and select text. Now, this is where we're going to put in our primary text or our copy. So let's go into ChatGPT to get our copy. So we're back in ChatGPT and the prompt we're using for this ad copy is write Facebook ad copy for this ad using the pain, agitation and solution method. And as you guys can see, this is the copy that we got. And you guys also want to make sure that you're not just relying on the AI and you're using your own copywriting and your own edits and tweaks to make sure that this sounds just like how you and your brand sound. AI is meant to be a tool to help you. It's not meant to do all of the work for you. So you guys would edit this copy, make it sound how it needs to sound, but I'm just doing an example for you guys. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the text section. Obviously you guys will be making your adjustments. So let's go back to the Facebook ad campaign and paste that in. So we'll paste that in just like that. And now let's work on our headline. So we're back in ChatGPT to get our headline. So the prompt for this headline is going to be, give me five headline ideas for this ad. Make sure that the biggest benefit is included in these headlines. We got five right here. And the one I'm going to select is transform your hair stronger, longer, and fuller in weeks. So we're going to copy that. and We're going to paste that back in the Facebook ad campaign. So let's paste this headline right here. You guys can also add a description and then your call to action. You guys can select whichever one you want. I typically do learn more. Next on the left hand side, we are going to go to media and this is where you can add your video. So you're going to go to on the right where it says upload and you're going to upload whatever video you have. But first, let me give you guys the video script that you guys can create using ChatGPT. So we're back in ChatGPT and I know this says Facebook ad copy, but I meant to say Facebook ad script and I gave the formula for the script. So the prompt is write Facebook ad, write a Facebook ad video script for this brand using our four step strategy. One strong hook, call out the audience that you're looking for Two, introduce yourself slash establish credibility. Three, provide value, educate, motivate, inspire, or entertain. In this case, teach them something quickly in the form of a quick tip or two. And number four is a strong call to action. So this is our Facebook video ad formula that we've been using for ourselves and our clients for the past five or six years that have been getting amazing results. So we always stick to the strategy. And as you can see, we get a full script from ChatGPT. Step one, they give us the strong hook. Step two, they give us the introduction and credibility. Step three, they provide value. Step four, a strong call to action. So of course, you're going to input all of your information into this when you get it. You're going to make your tweaks to make sure it sounds like you. But I just wanted to touch on step three, where it says provide value, you know, and do a quick tip. You definitely want to make sure that you're helping somebody within the ad. So whether they decide to do business with you or not, the ad they watch should help them get value. So you're going to record that video and then you're going to upload it where we just were inside the Facebook ads campaign. So upload your video, then you have the option to trim or crop or make any edited video that you want, and then we're good to go. So. We are going to go back out of this to continue with the rest of the campaign. So now we are back. And like I said, we're going to be creating three different ad sets. So we have one now. So we're going to go to that ad set and we're going to click those three dots on the right hand side when you click the bar on the left. So click the three dots and we are going to select quick duplicate. And now this is going to duplicate the ad set. And now all we have to do is change the audience, right? So we're going to change the name because remember, we always name it the name of the audience that we're targeting. We don't have it yet. So we go back down and now we are going to put in what we had for the second layer from ChatGPT. So we're going to put that in right now. And what we're going to select is skincare. So again, make sure that you're using an interest and make sure that you're using an interest that's large enough so you're not running right through the audience. And now we're going to go back to the top. And we're going to name this second ad set and we're going to name it natural skincare. Then we're going to do the same thing. 
quick duplicate one more time to give us our third ad set. And again, you want to quick duplicate it so you don't have to redo the entire ad set. All you need to do is change the audience and the name. So what we're going to do now is scroll back down. And now we're going to get the third layer from our ChatGPT response. And we're going to go back here and we're going to input it. So the one we chose is yoga. So make sure we're doing a yoga interest and make sure that whatever interest you guys choose, make sure that it's large. And then what we're going to do is go back to the top. And we're going to rename this ad set because remember, we always name the ad set, the name of the audience that we're targeting. It's very important that you guys do that because when you have a bunch of different campaigns running and you just want to look at it from the dashboard, you're not going to know what results you're looking at unless you name the ad set and the campaign and the ads. And once you've done that, you will be all finished setting up this campaign. Three different ad sets, each going at $20 a day, testing three different audiences. It's a pretty simple setup. There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This process will definitely help for beginners. If you don't have too much experience running Facebook ads, or even if you do, and you just want to simplify your process. But if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, and you want to learn how you can save 10 plus hours every single week and generate more leads and sales in your sleep, using AI powered marketing. And what you need to do is click the link in the description and schedule your free AI impact blueprint session with me. I'll analyze your whole business and show you the best AI tools for you to use that will help you save hours every week and increase your revenue. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.